there everyone it's Jen here uh, back again and I did a thing guys <laughs> I did a thing Um, yeah well as you can see I did a thing with Amazon <laughs> or from Amazon should I say Um, now I have seen I've been toying with the idea for a while about getting one of these Amazon mystery boxes of diamond paintings and I've actually seen um since since i started thinking about it i've actually seen a couple of people doing unboxings of them and what they've had has been uh, well let's just say um mixed <laughs> and mostly disappointing and their advice was don't do it don't get these mystery boxes from amazon and you know something when somebody tells me not to do something that makes me want to do it even more. <laughs> I don't know how many of you are like that. So um, I'm sure there are more than one of you out there. But when you're told not to do something, I'm like a kid. I'm like a teenager. If I'm told not to do something, I'll just go ahead and do it. Within reason, of course. Within reason. <laughs> um... <laughs> So yes, I went and I picked up a mystery box of diamond paintings through Amazon. Now, there are six diamond paintings in this box. I have got not a clue what they are. Um, you'll know that I'm kind of a sucker for a mystery. You know, I like my easy win boxes and also um, yeah, I quite like a mystery diamond painting as well. But uh, yeah, so this box <laughs> just called my name. So, um, actually, before I get started into it properly, um, yeah, a very, very warm welcome to my channel. Um, you know, thanks for uh, dropping in and, uh, yeah, sticking with the video. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, just, sorry, I'm in a bit of a tizzy because I I'll, I'll, I'll love surprises. So, <laughs> let's see how we go on. Um, this is six diamond paintings in this oh sorry there are six diamond paintings in this box and i think the whole thing came to just short of 19 pounds so we're talking um just over three pounds per piece really so even if they're rubbish it's not it's not going to be too much of an issue amazon as usual uh reasonably small it's quite hefty actually reasonably the small bag but in a big box what we'll do is we'll look at all six. Hopefully the video won't be too long. Right, let's get my um scissors back. Oh, I'll link the um a link a link down below um the site that I got this from. I just found the you know picked up the first random box that I found. Uh, I didn't want to get one that was too many um just in case there were a load of rubbish ones which there probably will be but i also didn't want to get one that only had two or three in them because you know i wanted to kind of, sort of like you know have not too many but not too little if you know and i thought six was a good number all right so we have uh one two three four five and uh, six now these will all i imagine be uh 30 by 40 rounds or similar right okay let's go with number one so i hope everybody is having a good day today um i'm not too bad i've been kind of chilling a little bit this isn't going to open, is it? Let me just do that. <laughs> it's a lot easier. Right. Here we go. Number one. Right. Okay. Drills, first of all. Ooh, greens and blues. Uh, I'm not really going to talk about the toolkits unless something special comes along. Because they'll, they'll all be fairly basic, I would imagine. Um, with a green boat, pink pen and pink wax so yeah <laughs> okay number one it's quite dark greens and oh oh 
it's very pixelated but actually it's also really quite nice it's a mandala and i think the mandalas can get away with being pixelated to be fair let me just uh oh right okay i like this one well i think i like this one <laughs> Yes, and greens and blues uh, with a black background. The peacock colours really are, aren't they? Oh, as far as mystery box paintings go, I think number one is a definite success because, as I say, I do like mandalas, so, and I do like the, that colour palette, I like the blues, and uh, the bl blues and greens together do actually look quite nice. Canvas is very stiff, so I'm going to try and manipulate it a little bit so we can get a better look, so that we can get a better look. I want to have a, have a good gander at it too. Let me just pop these scissors on this thing just so it weights it down a wee bit. So, uh, yes, it's a, it's a mandala, green and blue mandala. Um, like it. Uh, there is no canvas size on it. Um, I would imagine it's one of these ones that's supposed to be a 30 by 40, but it isn't really. It's 24 by 34. It's not got very many colours, it's only got 14 and it is pixel printed so um, you can see that if I lift it up uh, each colour forms a little individual block but uh, the drill feels pretty clear um, they've got some red printing here K and 7, they're printed in red okay, that's different <laughs> They're a bit hard to see, but, um, you know, not impossible, not impossible. And it's all numbers and letters as well. So 14 colours and extra added bonus. We have DMC numbers as well. Um, we can pull the drills out just to have a quick look at. I don't think they're going to be, oh, excuse me. I shouldn't open drills and talk at the same time. Um, I'm imagining the colours are going to be, um, you know, it's going to be pretty obvious what the colours are. They're not going to be very exciting, but I like that. Ooh, what DMC is that? 3808. Oh, I do like that one. That's right up my street. Um, so we should have all the drills. So it should be 1 to 14. And I mean 12, 14. Oh, they're all mixed up. It's like somebody's taken a pair of scissors to it all and chopped it all up. It's our 310 for the background. 310 actually looks really, really good. And we've got some greens in different shades. That looks like it might be 995 or 996. Oh no, it's 796. Gosh. I thought I knew my blues as well. Ah, here's 995 and 996. Yeah. Don't you love that? Yeah, gotta love blues, eh? More blues. And the green. Ah. Dusty, dusky pink. And we have like a turquoise. And we have uh, a teal and yeah, sort of like a, a dark green and a dark blue. Okay, so first uh, painting is, um, let me put these drills away. First painting is, um, yes, is a tick, definitely. Um, I like a mandala, I like that colour scheme. So, yes, big success. Okay. It can only go downhill from here. 
No, 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 no. It can't, it can't. Stay positive. Stay positive. Um, okay, let's go with painting number two. Right. Let's see what we have in this one. Um, the other thing as well I thought about when I was doing these mystery boxes is like, I wonder if I get the same ones as other people have got. You know, that's always something that's kind of crossed my mind. Took it. Okay, this one. I don't think I've ever had drills in this packaging before. Look, it's kind of got red hearts and swirls at the bottom. Okay, um, slightly more neutral tones in this one with a little bit of blue. Let's see what this one is. Ooh. Oh my gosh, the confetti is real. The confetti is real. Look at that. Oh. What is it? What, what is that? It could be some kind of abstract thing. Oh, it's a cat. It's because it was doing it from the bottom. Okay, it's a cat. Right, let's, um, uh, 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 again, I like cats. <laughs> I have two. Uh, I do like animal paintings. So, uh, yep, we like an animal painting. I like uh, cats. They are really quite heavily, um, there, there's quite a lot of heavy folds in these paintings. Um, but certainly the two that I've done, this, this one and the mandala. So I might um, see about... Uh, I might see about ironing them. So to be fair, I haven't ironed a painting for a while. Let's see if we can flatten this out so we can see the image a little bit better. Oh, its face is a bit weird. <laughs> its face is its face is well weird. <laughs> I'll have a look and see what it looks like under the camera in a minute. There's no thumbnail on this. this. There was a thumbnail on the mandala, so I kind of had a rough idea. Um, so this one isn't pixel printed. This is picture printed. Um, okay, it does say that it should be 30 by 40, but I can tell you for a fact it won't be. It's probably 24 by 34 like the other one. Oh, 24 by 33, mind you, the, the, these folds are quite deep, it probably is 34 once you straighten it out. Oh, the sun's come out. It has a 21 colours, uh, no DMC on this one though, so that's a bit of a shame. Or, or is it? Ah, actually, I tell a lie, there's DMC numbers on the drill bags. So let me see, what does this face look like under the <laughs> it looks it looks just as weird uh, through the camera as as it does in real life. I think it's supposed to be quite inquisitive looking up like hmm, is my food coming? But wow <laughs> It looks oh gosh. It looks, it looks like it's been uh yeah. I don't know what it looks like, but it certainly doesn't look like a cat face. It looks like those toys actually. Now you think I think about it, you know those kind of toys that had um like the button eyes sewing on and the and the and it was all black, black eyes and black um nose and mouth and a little upside down Y in thread. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I th the other reason as well I think it looks quite odd is yeah, I've had quite a few cats in my time and um Cats that are pale tend to be pale in um, coat colour, like this one is. The you know this this area around about their eyes and their nose and their mouth tends to be quite pale, not black. That's that's why that's why it looks odd. I think, yeah. I think all animals, most animals, are like that actually. But we do have DMC numbers on the bag, so um, if you look here, this is a bag of nine three nine. 
so that's quite good what's 939 oh that's what that's his eyes and nose so 21 colors is a good amount of color um now the cat seems to be blue oh gosh now i don't know what this is going to look like when it's done um but yeah the cat does seem to be blue uh in places i don't know i think it's supposed to be like a calico cat and i can maybe get hints of blue if it's uh you know like shading in the white but look look that's going to be in the cat <laughs> Oh, this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, not too sure what the background is, whether it's supposed to be flowers or if it's some kind of pattern or what have you. But anyway, there's blues in the cat. And these greens, I think. Yeah, are these are all in the background. Yeah. So this is all kind of background colour. So the colours that you would think would, that would be in the cat are actually in the background. But lot of confetti, a lot of confetti, which makes me think it might be some kind of floral. They're very neutral colours there, and as I say, blues in the cat. And there's the last one. So blues and greys and tans. So I like cats, um, not entirely sure how I feel about this image because the cat's face is like really freaking me out. Um, and interesting to see that there's blue in the cat, so, and a bright blue as well, so yeah, we'll see how that one goes, so yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look at the next one. Okay, next. Well, this is quite tight up to the top. Oh, come on. Cut. That's us. Right, number three. So, so far, not been too bad. Oh, this is, oh, this has got a lot of green in it. Oh, is this double bag? No, it's not double bag. Oh, it is kind of stuck though. I kind of wanted to pull the drills out before I started to look at the, right. Oh yeah, oh, it's these little tiny bags. So I might not open this up, but we'll see. But uh, hmm, the toolkit's got some little Ziploc bags in it. What is that? Is that an aubergine? Oh, there you go. There's the thumbnail. What on earth is that? I'm not often speechless, but... <laughs> oh, it's a lady! Oh my gosh! I can see a lady there. Can you? Oh, stop wiggling it about, Jennifer. So there's the green foliage in the background. Oh, excuse my nails. Uh, that dark area around there is our hair with a little flower in it. I think that might be her face. Can you see a lady there? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> when you look at it like that, it doesn't look like a lady. It's like one of those optical illusions, perhaps. At first I thought it was an aubergine. I haven't got a clue what this is. It's a splodge. I tell you what, let's run the... Let, let's, uh, let's do a funsies, a competition for funsies down below. Can um, somebody tell me what they think this is? <laughs> and uh, I don't know. I don't know what the prize will be. A sense of satisfaction. <laughs> I think that'll be a, that'll be the prize. A sense of satisfaction. Uh, it doesn't help that it's pixel printed. Oh, 
Yeah, it doesn't help that it's pixel printed at all. Let me try and flatten this bit as well. Um, so it doesn't say how many colours there are in here. Oh, it does, 19. There are 19 colours. Um, here on the plus side, it's got DMC numbers. Hot on. <gasps> probably all been seeing this oh right okay it's the hulk it's the it's the hulk there he is i am um, <laughs> that, 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 like, oh it does now when you think about it oh, it just shows you like you know your eyes get drawn my eyes were drawn to his trousers because i thought it was aubergines at first and you know we just won't go down that route at all um, uh, it's the Hulk. There's his face. <laughs> there's his big muscly arms there and there, and his chest. And there's his purple trousers. I think that's quite an unfortunate colour to choose from. And there's his feet. It's the it's the Hulk. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, if you managed to guess who it was before I managed to work out who it was, well done you, because uh, yeah, I was well puzzled. Um, actually, oops, it is sorry. On the bag of drills, it's uh, you can see it on the inventory sheet. It's it's the Hulk. Um, I'm not going to pull these out because these are in these little uh, bags of two hundred. Um, but yeah, we've got, got kind of a selection of different greens, uh, like purples for his trousers and. Uh, Sort of like neutral colours for the background there. I don't think it helps that he's smashing through a wall and uh, you know there's maybe foliage behind him there so he's kind of merged into the bit of green there of the foliage. I don't think that helps matters very much but um, yeah it's the Hulk. Hulk smash. Um, size wise it is uh, 25 by Thirty-five. Yep. So uh, I'm not into Marvel, um, you know, uh, at all. Um, my daughter and my son are into kind of like the newer stuff, um, but yeah, <laughs> Hulk. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's uh, let's do number four. I certainly wouldn't have picked that one up. Oh, this one's very thin. This one's not very, very big at all. I wonder if it's smaller than a 30 by 40. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is a bit smaller. Right. Oh, okay. Um, I must admit, we are getting quite varied colour palettes here. So we've got some, oh, these are some beautiful colours. Oh, this is going to be a small one because there's not very many drills in here at all. But we've got pinks and yellows and blues and greens. A little bit purple and orange as well. So it's like kind of the whole rainbow here. Ooh, what have we got? Plain toolkit. Oh, it's a partial. Oh, and it's a rainbow unicorn. There's a unicorn, that's a horn up there. I knew it was light. I wasn't expecting a partial though. Oh, this will be fun. This will go nice and quick. So, um, I do like partials. Uh, this one will definitely need an iron because, um, you know, the, the weight of the drills aren't going to hold it down. Let's see if I can flatten it out a little bit. There's no point in in doing the trick with uh with the, the with the cover, you know, sort of like um the plastic cover because because it's not going to work with this. Um, but this will definitely be ironed. But yes, it is a rainbow uh, unicorn. Um, I mean, well, these are all going to go into my stash for stuff to do. But I might bring this out in June for Pride Month. Um, yes. Very pretty. 
Um, interesting uh, fact, I don't know how many of you out there know this, but the unicorn, would you believe, is the national animal of Scotland? Yep, we have a, a, a fictional, a mythical animal as our national animal. Um, if you don't believe me, go and look it up. It's absolutely 100% true. The unicorn is the national um, animal of Scotland. Okay. Um, I don't think I'll open these drills up. You know, I did say it was rainbow coloured and it is rainbow coloured. Uh, all the colours are there. Yellows, reds, pinks, greens, blues, purples and oranges. So um, how many colours? 16 and uh, no DMC codes on this one. I didn't think there would be, to be fair. So that is our little rainbow unicorn partial. Oh, I haven't measured it. It says it's a 30 by 30. To be fair, I partials, I don't tend to sort of like think too much about the size because it doesn't isn't too big. It's actually 25 by 25. So, yep. You know what? I think, you know, I've got a better box than some of the other people that I was watching unboxing. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> well, to my taste. I mean, every, everybody's taste is different. So, right. And this one, I think we're back to a full drill. It feels um, like it might be a full drill. Okay, dokie. Um, oh, we've got uh, bags in this one as well. Is it love bags? Oh, colour wise, what do we have? Oh, we also have a bush drill packet, so I'm definitely not going to look these out. Uh, looks like it's a brown that's got burst, or it could be a black. Um, because there is a dark brown and a black in there. It might be the dark brown actually. So, yep, we've got. Um, a nice mix of colours actually, some browns, blues, greens, pinks, maybe some kind of landscape. Let's have a look. Or about, I was going to say, or a floral. And it looks like it's a floral. Oh, it's Belle. It's It's Belle, but not in her not in her nice yellow dress. Uh, Belle, the in her blue, sort of peasant uh, dress. There she is with the with roses in the background. So yeah, I did reckon, <laughs> although I couldn't recognise Hulk, I did recognise Belle. So yeah, she looks lovely. It's probably her hair. That's the colour that's burst. Uh, the 19 colours in Bell and any DMC numbers? No. But as I said, I mean, I would, I would take these out actually and look at them, but with one of the bags being burst, I'm not going to bother. So I don't want to make a mess everywhere. Actually, I think I can see which one might have gone. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Anyway, um, I think it's kind of self-evident what the colours are going to be in here. We're going to get the skin tones. We're going to get the browns in her hair, the pinks and the reds and the roses, and the blue in her out her um dress. I'm a bit concerned here though, worried though, because like if you see, this is her dress, which is all this white, and uh, it kind of just merges up into the background of the wall. So yeah. <laughs> she's going to become one with her background um so yeah maybe not don't, not liking that very much says so it's a 30 by 40 it is actually 25 by 35 almost 34 and a half so there we go bell um Look okay, out of all the Disney princesses, she's probably one of the better ones. <laughs> I'm not really a big Disney princess fan. Right. Okay. 
last one. This does feel a little bit more um, chuckle. Oh, this one's open. Uh, a little bit more substantial. Let's see what we've got. Quite a lot of confetti in this one. 26 colours. Oh, I can see it's a landscape. Okay, so we have um, two at the bags. And these are the small bags again. And it is, it's a, it's a landscape with some trees. And lots of different kind of tree colours. <laughs> There's browns and greens and reds and oranges. Um, again, I'm not opening these up. I don't, I don't like to open up the ones with the, the small bags. Let's have a look at the picture though. Uh, I'm not, um, I'm not a big fan of landscapes uh, at all. Uh, I have done a couple, um, but it's not really, it, it's it's not really a thing that I'm into. No, I have never got a Chuck Pinson or an Abraham Hunter. Uh, so yes, it's, it's not too bad. It looks quite pixelated through the naked eye. I um, think through the camera, it doesn't look too bad. It is pixel printed. Um, yeah, some trees. And I don't know whether that's a river or, or a lane or something that's going down there. But it's so heavy on the confetti. Let's have a look at how um, big it is. It says 30 by 40. Sorry. And it is... What size is it? That's going to be 35. And that's going to be 25. Okay, so 40 by 30, but it's actually 35 by 25. So, yes, our uh, landscape. Right. Actually, I don't think I've done too badly, to be fair, uh, uh, out of a mystery box. There are actually some ones that are that, that are pretty good. Let's have a look back at them and I'll kind of put them into order of preference. Right, least favourite. Uh, least favourite, I think might have to be the Hulk. Um, yeah, <laughs> I can see him now. Um, but yeah, I think my least favourite is the Hulk. And then maybe um, the landscape, perhaps. Uh, just, just mostly because I'm not really into landscapes. So, um, next we might have Belle. Again, purely for the reason that I'm not really into Disney and uh, or Disney princesses as such. And also this kind of area here uh, is putting me off slightly. Um, then maybe the cat. I think it might turn out okay, but I'm just a bit concerned about the colours, the, the blue and the fur and, and that face. It looks like it's sewn on. Um, then I think... We might go with um, the Rainbow Unicorn. I do like partials and, you know, you can't go wrong with that. That's going to turn out absolutely fine. Background's lovely as well. Quite often with partials, you know, uh, the backgrounds are not that great. But, but this one is quite good. And I think, for me, the best one um, in the pack was, the, actually, funnily enough, the first one I opened up, which is the Mandala. I do like Mandalas. And I like this colour palette. I like the blues and the greens together. So, so yeah, I think that one is, is going to be my favourite. It's going to be quite dark. So hopefully we can get a nice good shine off of it. <laughs> I always find that um, the darker paintings, I think, throw off a nicer shine. So, so yeah, I've got high hopes for this one. Um, so, yes, <laughs> that, was, that was certainly a bit of a mixed bag. And... Um, Yes, I think I've, I've done not too bad. I don't think there's any here that I've kind of gone, wow, no way. Um, they, they have been not not too bad. You know, even the Hulk. 
I can see them now. <laughs> it hasn't been too bad. So, um, yeah, what do you think of this mystery box? Um, what's your favourite one um, out of this uh, out of this uh, little selection here? Because it is quite a it's quite a good mix. I, th I think I've done not too badly. So if you want to tell me what your favourite one is, just pop it in the uh, description box down below, and uh, yeah, we'll see we'll see how how many of you like you know who, who you know who likes what. Anyway, um, if you have liked this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up, and um. If you could hit the subscribe button, if you haven't done so already, on your way out, it would be very much appreciated. And I shall see you guys all in my next video. Cheerio!